I guess I uh, might want a, a little bit of a challenge, but you can't stop me, so, um, die! Oh no! What are we gonna do? We have to go back in time to save sci-fi! To save the universe! To save Russia, apparently! Mother Russia. Wait, how do we fly this thing? I don't know. I pushed random buttons until I found you. Well, let's do it again! to be exact. The Big Bang. First of all, let me set up some space-time chairs for us to get settled. Whoa! Yeah! Here we go. Have a seat. That's comfortable. Nice oxygen. So, so, this 
This is the Big Bang, the beginning of it all, the expansion from one thing to everything. The mass of energy, the, the, the particle, was smaller than the eye could see, of infinite mass and infinite ma energy, and then BOOM! Ow! <laughs> Are you okay? No. But let's continue. It's because of the Big Bang that everything is here. And without everything, there would be nothing. And without nothing, there would be no humans. Yes, let's a double negative. You said a double negative. With nothing, there would be no humans. And with no humans, there would be no sci-fi. And with no sci-fi, well, you'll see later. Wow! Well, that bang sure was big. <laughs> See? The universe is expanding. Stars are forming. Solar systems are accreting. Planets are accreting. Galaxies. That means that we have the capability for alien planets. And without these alien planets, or the possibility of any alien planets, there would be no aliens, and there would be no sci-fi. <laughs> well, universe expanded. Check. Now you know what we gotta do? We gotta go to Earth. But isn't that where the Trumpy lives? Not right now. He hasn't even been born yet. Oh. As long as we don't have to say, not my President Trumpy. <sighs> Why did you bring that thing? Realism! That's what we're trying to defeat! But it's a loincloth! We're in the Stone Ages! I mean, so, whatever. As long as you don't make me wear anything later. <sighs> so, you might be wondering, why are we here in the age of man? could barely use stone as tools. Well, I will tell you. They used these cave paintings and told myths and legends, like early science fiction. He's reverting. They used their own view of what they knew of the world to m and made up stories for the rest, which is basically what science fiction is. Greece! Togas! No. Yes. <laughs> Stop pulling at your toga. Why'd you uh, make me do this? We didn't dress up for any other timelines. Because we have to blend in. <sighs> Where the heck are we? We're in ancient Greece. Well, I got that much. We are in ancient Greece because this is the very birthplace of science fiction. Who's that old guy? Is that him? Who? That's Lucian of Samosota. He wrote True History, the most precedented piece that many people believe is the first sci-fi book. This book? That book. Wow! That's amazing! Oh no! I've lost my book! Some weird cat took it from me! Oh! Here you go, mister! Thanks! Now my dreams of writing books can come true! Do you know what we just did? I don't know. Fix some? You just threw a book at Lucian of Samosota! That was his own book? <laughs> oh, uh, so, um, by now you've probably realized, uh, you're kind of unraveling stuff, so if you could just stop it. I mean, that would be very appreciated. Um, so Whee! Oh, Whee! Uh, what does that mean? Whee! What does it mean? Whee! Let's get out of here. <coughs> Why is everything all black and white? I don't know. Maybe because we're in a 1902 short film called La Voyage de la Lune. Did I don't you? know if I said that right. Did you look that up on your phone? How is the reception? No. 
How is there reception here? There is no reception. It's called note cards. Huh. Silent film, you say? Yeah! Le Voyage de la Lune was a silent film. Really? Really. with my arm bone. Well, that's teleportation for you. Where the heck are we? We're on the USS Enterprise. Isn't that a Star Trek thing? Yeah, it's a Star Trek thing. Can you need help? Yeah. I wasn't much of a Star Trek fan. Heretic? Oh, that was the bone. You don't like Star Trek? I'm more of a Star Wars guy myself. Ah! Oh, why? Broken rib. You don't like Star Trek! I never got into it! You just don't know enough about it. Yeah. I know that the communication thing that they had... What was it called? Communicator? That thing. That inspired the person to make the cellular phone. And it was the main inspiration. See? Star Trek is an influential part of human events. Star Trek was started on September, in September of 1966. And its lines are quoted around the world. You ever hear Beat Me Up, Scotty? I mean, one of the newer movies, I guess. Well, that was originally founded in the Star Trek original series. Chloe? What are you doing here? I'm on the Death Star, bro. Well, yeah. We went here together, but I just came over to have some... I'm an agent! What is that? It's the plans to the Death Star. Why are you here? Well, just to have some fun with my surprise lightsaber. Put that thing down before we get hurt. Shabu! You just broke my cool limited edition Jin Erso gun! This is for my leg. So! Star Wars is one of the most famous works of science fiction. Made by George Lucas, it was the first, one of the first real sci-fi to make it into the mainstream, and not just for the geeks. Even today, you can still people hear people uttering the famous line, Luke, I am your father, when the actual line is, no, I am your father. Fun fact. So, yeah. the last of That's it. That's it. Now that we made it to present day, I think we're fine. We saved the universe, man. What's that? Just, uh, just walk with me. Uh, uh, hello, um, well, uh, as you can see, um, nothing's wrong. Nothing's ever wrong. My plan is going perfectly and just swimmingly. We have to get out of here. Well, um, as you can see, uh, uh, screw this. We, you, and we're gonna meet up. You need to stop messing with my plans. I'll see you in the future, you son of a- <laughs> BAM! 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 And then BAM! 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 There he is! Hello, Doctor. I'm Lucas. I'm Chloe. Don't care, frankly. Now, uh, behold, my paradox making machine. I think it's a spoon. It's not a spoon! Ugh, you imbeciles! <laughs> Get it off me! <laughs> Chloe! What?
paradox off. We saved the universe! So, how is this the future? I don't know. I think we're in some kind of nature preserve. Oh, makes sense. But in the future, thanks to sci-fi, we may have um, inspired inventors to create things like hoverboards or teleportation or close to light speed travel, letting us travel to the stars. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> 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 <laughs>